Yes. It pays to have good credit. You would always want to be on the side of having good credit. Do you think it pays to have good credit? Welcome to the It Pays to Have Good Credit podcast, where we talk about credit scores, business, finances, and take calls to answer all questions related to those topics. To call in, call 225-243-9700 and press option one to join in. Let's talk about Credit Karma for a few minutes in this episode. Me personally, I love Credit Karma. I have it myself on my cell phone. Um, you know, anytime that I run my credit for something or anything, Credit Karma literally alerts me instantly when someone pulls my credit. If a new account gets added to my credit, if something uh, falls off of my credit that's been closed for 10 years, you know, it'll alert me, letting me know something's dropped off. If my credit scores change, I can just literally click the app on my phone and find out exactly what is going on with my credit within literally a few seconds of clicking some buttons. Now, with that being said, you have a lot of people out there in the world that are like, oh, Credit Karma isn't your real score. You know, don't listen to Credit Karma. Don't believe their scores, their fake scores. Look, you know, this episode isn't to discuss um, the credit scores that Credit Karma gives because at the end of the day, there are no such thing as real credit scores because Everywhere you go, your score is going to be different. Now, if you are looking at your Credit Karma app on your phone right now, okay, let's go ahead and click it. Um, I'm going to go to mine while I'm on this episode here. So if I were to click the green app here, Credit Karma, okay, it's loading up, entering my PIN number on my iPhone, okay, and it's loading up here. If you were to go, it would say TransUnion and Equifax. It does not give or provide Experian credit data. Now, out of TransUnion or Equifax, uh, let's just click one, okay? If you look here at the bottom of those scores, it'll tell you your credit scores displayed by TransUnion or Equifax. Um, it will say scores calculated using Vantage 3.0. Vantage is a scoring system. There is two scoring systems that are used to calculate credit scores. One is a Vantage scoring system, which is what Credit Karma uses. The other one is a FICO scoring system, which is what banks and lenders use, okay? Now, out of those two scoring systems, there are multiple versions or models of those systems. Like for example, Vantage 3.0, that is the third version of Vantage, which I believe they have like 4.0 now, you know, they calculate scores differently. Just like FICO, you know, FICO 8 is, I don't know, I believe it's for mortgage loans, if I'm not mistaken. I, I can't keep up with all of them, but there's FICO 8, FICO 10, FICO 9, FICO 6, FICO 2. Listen, every model of FICO, every model of Vantage is going to give you different credit scores. They're arranged differently. They uh, judge you based on you know different things you know like for example one model of fico your payment history may be worth 60 percent of your score okay uh, another model of fico your payment history may only be worth 40 percent of your total score like look guys it's going to be different everywhere you go so uh in this episode i just want to explain what credit what credit karma is and hopefully this can stop confusing people and saying, oh, well, Credit Karma sucks. Um, you know, it's, it's just a free app. It's not your real score. There's no such thing as a real score. Everywhere you check, your score is going to be different from another place that you check, you know. So whatever you're getting your so-called real scores from, okay, go somewhere else and check your credit. I promise you, your scores are probably going to be 10 points, 20 points, 30 points different because someone else is going to use a completely different scoring version of that scoring system that's calculating your score okay now let's move on to the main topic of this episode credit karma okay was never designed to give a real credit score at the end of the day it is just a service to monitor your credit stay alerted 
But most importantly, the main reason of it being free is so they can sell your information to lenders, banks, and other partners, okay? A lot of people, they sign up for Sturgis Credit Repair and the first thing they do is complain that they have to sign up for a credit monitoring service, okay? Now, credit reports are not free. If they were, you would be able to get a free credit report from the credit bureaus every single day. However, they will start charging you after they provide you one free one, okay? That's why you have to use a credit monitoring service to get your actual credit reports. Um, there's a site called myannualcreditreport.com where they give you one free credit report every single year for free. You know, outside of that, they make you pay for it. So when you sign up for a credit repair service, they need a updated credit report every single month because your credit data changes every single month. If they don't have your most up to date credit report, how are they going to work on your credit? So we need up to date credit reports every round of the credit repair process. And with that being said, you have to pay for those credit reports. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, can you use my Credit Karma? It's free, you know? No, because Credit Karma doesn't provide credit reports, especially from all three bureaus that's gonna integrate into our system. Like I just told you earlier in this episode, they only provide uh, Equifax and TransUnion credit data, which aren't full, you know, credit reports, if that makes sense. But moving on to the main topic of this episode, yes, Credit Karma is free, but guess what? They are mainly free in providing you with free credit data because they are making so much more money on the back end than what your credit reports costed, you know, cost in the first place. It, it, it's just common sense. So, um, I'm in the It Pays to Have Good Credit Facebook group here, which is our uh, Facebook community with lots of happy customers and things like that. And they post daily in the Facebook group. And this post here was like, hey, I have a, I think it was a 571 credit score. Is this a good offer? And it's a offer from Credit Karma. And it says, hey, pay off your credit card debt with this $5,000 loan and pay 31 percent interest on this loan i mean that's just that's robbery you know you're gonna pay back double the cost of what you borrowed and in credit karma words it's like this is gonna help increase your score this is gonna uh, help your credit situation no that's gonna put you in debt which eventually is gonna hurt your credit because you're gonna be in more debt than what you are now and you're gonna begin missing payments and ruining your credit but why do they do this they do this because they got you to sign up for free and they sell your information to all these banks and lenders and they pre-qualify you for offers and then when you're pre-qualified for these offers they have them pop up on your credit karma account so when you're scrolling on it, it's like hey look you're pre-qualified click this and get approved and once you get approved credit karma gets a huge commission i mean think of it 31 percent interest on 5,000, I, I think I did the math. This person would have to pay back like $9,000, $10,000 back. You know, I can promise you Credit Karma is, is at least getting, you know, uh, a pretty big chunk of that um, as, a, as a referral commission, you know. So at the end of the day, Credit Karma is just a referral service, except it's free. And there's a reason why it's free. So for all you people out there that's, you know, complaining about paying for your credit reports or paying for credit monitoring and credit karma is free. Listen, guys, nothing on earth is free. You know, it, it, it just is what it is. Even with our credit repair service, you know, we give a free month of credit repair or whole service for free the first round. But guess what? That doesn't mean you can go from bad credit to good credit within one month it, it just doesn't work like that and if, if life did no one on earth would have bad credit so like i said guys i'm not bashing credit karma i love it i use it every single day just to monitor my credit get alerted if something pops up on my credit or falls off however stop thinking credit karma is free and it's the best thing out there it is not costing you anything especially if y'all are clicking those pre-approval credit card offers or loan offers and things like that because the interest on those are insane that's all for this episode
If you use credit to improve your lifestyle and would like to share your story on the It Pays to Have Good Credit podcast, feel free to reach out to us at info at sturgiscreditrepair.com. Sturgis is spelled S-T-I-R-G-U-S creditrepair.com. 